So as I was, uh, I was saying, uh, thank you for uh, being patient, um, for uh, waiting for us for the last uh, two presentations. Uh, we have received some communication from our speakers. Um, they are well entitled not to be here, unfortunately. Uh, so thank you for uh, for your patience. Uh, we would like to introduce our new speaker. Uh, it's Karel Charva uh, from uh, the Czech Republic. Uh, welcome, Karel. Uh, Hello, nice to be your, here. Uh, yes, we can. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Yes, uh, yes, it's okay. I would like to also introduce you. So, Karel is a uh, graduated uh, theoretical cyber, uh, cybernetics. Um, he's also a member of the International Society for Precision Agriculture, uh, the Research Data Alliance, the Club of OSEA, and um, other uh, societies. Uh, he's also the pre uh, he was the president between 2005 and 2007, the president of the European Federation for Information Technology in Agriculture, Food and Environment. Uh, he is now chairman of the OGC Agriculture um, uh, di uh, Directorate. Uh, he's also uh, uh, volunteering for the Inspire Hacks and um, also is part of the implementation team, uh, national implementation team of the Czech Republic Inspire Geoportal. Um, he also participated in many other uh, research projects, but I will let him actually present uh, and uh, tell us about uh, the analysis of potential needs for, of agriculture uh, sector for the EU analysis. Thank you, Karel. Okay, thank you for um, the introduction. Um, I will um, try to speak about our analysis, uh, our vision of the needs of agriculture sector for earth observation. In first two presentation, we heard about uh, solution. Now I will not speak at all about uh, solution. I will speak about uh, what uh, is needed or how um, agriculture sector can um, benefit from earth observation, what we can do in um, the future um, uh, to be better. Uh, this analysis was done uh, by uh, European projects um, L for Agri. It was uh, the two years analysis of uh, different groups in agriculture sector. We analyze um, primary production, uh, food production, but also the needs of public sector, the needs of um, the financial sector, and also the needs of uh, information for food security, which is very close to previous presentation of Geoglam. Um, I will start with uh, some important ideas or messages at the beginning. Yes, and I will start uh, a little explain about um, agri-food sector. As, um, I participate in many projects uh, on uh, many meetings and what uh, we very often see as the mistake uh, that uh, people are trying to develop um, a solution which uh, where farmers can use earth observation data. Uh, this is uh, not a reality. Yes. I know few farmers who are really able to use uh, earth observation data but, uh, directly, but uh, the most of normal farmers, they need to know the knowledge which is generated from uh, earth observation data and they need uh, to uh, use this information in uh, the relation with, uh, with other uh, information sources. Uh, we already work with European Space Agency around 2005 on uh, the model of uh, added value chain and I think that till now this is not um, uh, fully implemented and uh, this is the future how uh, they could be deliver benefit of um, earth observation data to the farmers that we need to include it all um, different producers of information or different stakeholders into the chain and um, find the way how we will be able to com combine all uh, this information sources uh, for farmer. As I mentioned, other 
uh, important player uh, can be uh, food industry. Uh, generally, food industry is um, uh, on one way uh, interested about information about the potential of the market, uh, but uh, the company which are focused on um, high level production yes uh, they are uh, very often also supporting for example what we are calling precision farming and they are uh, supporting services for farmers because uh, they need to guarantee that the uh, farmers they supplier will make um, top level production and uh, they are running such type of the services for farm there is more organization who are now already doing this in the world we can uh, mention nestle barilla in the czech now uh, for example uh, personal breweries also trying to support the farmers with uh, such type of knowledge so this is other player on uh, the market uh, public sector yeah, I am from Europe, of course, outside of Europe, uh, sometimes there are uh, different rules. In public sector, in Europe, we have this common agricultural policy and uh, this uh, common agricultural policy on one way is controlling uh, the subsidies for payment system, but uh, what is important for the future is that it will be not only used for the restrictions for the purposes of the controlling of the farmers, but they can also help and cooperate on the data sharing uh, to be possible to use uh, some services and farmers um, uh, cheaper. So uh, there is important to connect it uh, this uh, also into this one chain. Um, financial institution, yes, they are uh, interested about um, again about information on the market. But in, uh, insurance company or reinsurance company are also interested to. Uh, um, minimize damages and monitor the damages and again there could be some common interest with the farmer so this is other player who has to be in some way included into the chain and of course uh, there is this global security and uh, um, we, we heard a lot of about uh, Geoglam uh, b before, so uh, this is some part of this. But uh, again, we are now uh, need to look on two level. Yes, one level is this world level about the world production, and then second is how to help, for example, farmers in developing countries um, to increase their productivity to make uh, their agriculture more sustainable. Uh, this is something, this slide is uh, very old, we done this slide uh, around 2008, yes, uh, it was in previous project, uh, it was called Future Farm, and uh, already in this time, we recognize that there could be uh, some trends or challenges uh, which uh, can go uh, um, from opposite direction. Yes, um, we need uh, to increase food quality and safety, but uh, the population is growing and we need also to find the way how to increase global production. Uh, till now, this is not a problem in the Europe, but in the global scale, it is the problem, yes. There is competition between production of the food and um, uh, energy. So there is more such uh, challenges which go from opposite direction and we need uh, to find the solution, how to find the optimal uh, methods and as observation could be one from the sources. Now in Europe we have um, a Green Deal which is defining some goal, very ambitious goal, uh, reduce uh, amount of uh, nitrogen and fertilizer, um, decrease uh, the usage of pesticide, uh, increase uh, biodiversity and uh, there is generally there is also sustainable development goals which uh, came earlier than uh, green deal european and uh, green deal and sustainable development goals are in some way in line so um, again here uh, are the things which i mentioned that we discussed already many years above zero hunger uh, it is um, uh, food uh, quality uh, clean environment. So uh, there is many things which is necessary to solve in uh, the future and uh, the um, question is how Earth observation can help to these goals on local but also on um, the global scale. Uh, in our projects 
we uh, run uh, some questionnaire uh, this was in um, uh, the europe yes and uh, you can see that uh, the average uh, scale of farms of production is um, relatively very low and then um, only 20% uh, of the farms uh, is bigger than uh, 1000 hectare. Of course, it is um, different in different countries. And if we will go to developing countries, this will be uh, much more. So we have uh, uh, now the topic for the discussion, how we can help with uh, Earth observation uh, to this uh, smaller farms. Uh, uh, again, uh, other question what we discussed with um, uh, the community was uh, about um, the resolution of uh, uh, the satellite data. And you can see that uh, only for um, approximately uh, half or a little more than half, uh, the most common open data like uh, uh, Copernicus Sentinel-1, Sentinel-2 or <coughs> one thematic maple are uh, taking as good, but that the number of uh, farms require uh, higher resolution than is uh, uh, possible to use with this data and which is now only uh, supplied by commercial providers. And uh, the worst situation is um, the willingness of farmers to pay for uh, these uh, services and uh, you can see that uh, um, uh, the, really most of the farmers is not willing to pay for the earth observation services uh, more than uh, five euro per hectare yes uh, two thirds of the farmers are not uh, willing to pay more than five euros per hectare for, for this type of the services mm -hmm. and uh, again this is some limitation um, so we can say that in the future agriculture we need uh, to produce uh, globally more uh, with, with higher quality and using uh, less uh, land and fewer inputs uh, at the same time. Yes? So uh, this is important and uh, also the resources uh, are limited because for example willingness of farmers to pay uh, for the services is uh, limited. Um, we will be able only to do this if we will be able to build uh, uh, some good um, uh, knowledge management yes because i mentioned that farmers are not uh, interested about uh, the data yes farmers are interested about the knowledge and wisdom to understand what and uh, why they to do something and there is necessary to connect it the number of organization number of uh, technologies uh, to came from this uh, poor data to this uh, final wisdom we, we analyze uh, the data which were most often required for by different group and in here you can see uh, the data which are most required by agri food group and uh, uh, what was very interesting that uh, the most often was uh, mentioned the weather forecast and uh, this type of uh, uh, the data which are related uh, in the climate, we analyze uh, these things not only in Europe, but we also analyze this in uh, um, in Africa. Uh, but these uh, things which were related to uh, the weather, to climate, to uh, to soil and water was uh, common for uh, all um, Europe and Africa. Uh, and I expect that this could be something which is important uh, globally. Um, in the financial sector, um, uh, there were the main requirements for um, the potential of um, uh, biomass production, um, uh, but uh, for insurance uh, flood, yes, it is, it is important. Um, uh, mapping of the different diseases, drought, uh, and if you are looking on these requirements, it can be in some way combined with uh, the requirements of farmers. Uh, public sector, again, if you go directly and more deeply to these uh, common requirements, you can see that uh, a lot of things which uh, could be uh, or which was considered as useful by uh, the public sector uh, can be also useful for farmers or for 
other organization. And uh, uh, in the global scale, um, I think that uh, it is in line what uh, already uh, was mentioned in the Geogram presentation, what are the most important things, but again, um, uh, this is um, a lot of related to the global production, but also to the environmental issues. <coughs> About the data, yes. So data, uh, satellite data uh, can be important source of information. Uh, it is useful that uh, this data, uh, Copernicus or Landsat, are open. So uh, this is uh, the reason why people are trying to use this data as much as possible. Uh, but in many cases, uh, there, is, there are requirements for uh, better spatial resolution, new bands, and to have the data more dense. We have till now, of course, big problem with the data from and that on Sentinel-2 with the cloud, so uh, there is necessary to look for the way how we can uh, be able to combine uh, this different data to have real coverage during the season. And um, uh, what is important uh, that is necessary to derive um, the way how to combine and sometimes this data is necessary to combine with aerial or um, uh, drone data. Uh, there is important that uh, now there exists a number of um, deliver platform for this data. Uh, probably who are from Europe, you know that in the Europe we have now this uh, five DIAS platform. Uh, uh, till now this DIAS platform were financed by uh, public money mainly, but uh, it is expected that from 2002 there has to be self-finance. Then it's question if all five um, DAS platforms will be able uh, to uh, run on the base of uh, uh, real commercial services. The second thing is uh, uh, the knowledge building. Yes, um, uh, you don't uh, only deliver data, but you need to have uh, the solution which will be able from this data to uh, derive um, information and uh, knowledge. Uh, and uh, there were a huge investment in um, Europe uh, to large infrastructures. Uh, here you can see uh, you can see some schemas of uh, some big project uh, which were or are financed. Uh, there is uh, um, data by um, that uh, um, Afar, Afar Cloud, Demeter, so there is a number of uh, uh, such solution, but till now uh, it's necessary to find the way how this uh, solution will be uh, again self-financing and how we will guarantee that uh, this platform will be operational after end of the project and uh, what we can do to deliver better services uh, for farmers. Um, yes, there is large investment, uh, many applications is highly fragmented, uh, there is uh, a lot of apps developed on the top of solution, but uh, they are not integrated uh, on uh, all information. And there is urgent need to combine private and public investment uh, to uh, be able to uh, better use the data and also supported uh, better discovery of the data. Uh, we have very good catalogs for primary data, uh, but what, for example, is not solved is uh, um, to have uh, the, uh, such good description of, for the data which are derived because there is necessary um, to um, uh, understand which methods was used for uh, this type of analysis, how it was analyzed, what was in, uh, putting data, and there is still now the gap uh, what, uh, which has to be overcome in the future. Um, uh, so, uh, as I uh, mentioned in the beginning, uh, that uh, both Europe and United Nations uh, are looking on a sustainable, environmentally friendly production, and uh, the plans are um, ambitious, and uh, 
uh, what is important uh, that this environmental task uh, must be integrated with agriculture production but then is again question how uh, this uh, has to be financed and how uh, this uh, could be proceed uh, a lot of we look on um, uh, the uh, precision farming uh, and uh, what I would like also stress here that um, if we are speaking about um, environmental protection and about uh, uh, the methods, um, till now the most often precision farming is understand as method of this variable rate application uh, to recognize where I have to put um, uh, fertilizer uh, where I have to put more and when I have to put less. What is uh, very important is uh, uh, to look on uh, the timing, yes, because uh, we already recognize that, uh, uh, for example, for nitrogen, uh, the good timing uh, can lead uh, to better usage of uh, nutrients uh, by crops and also uh, uh, reducing the losses to the water to the soil so it is important to uh, to be able to support also this other topic is that in some way is important as i already mentioned this precision farming with uh, other activity and to uh, run some public private partnership uh, uh, to reach the goals because for, for financial institute, for public sector, for all is um, uh, important to um, uh, guarantee uh, the lower losses, to guarantee uh, the more environmental friendly production and uh, then it's necessary to look how different organization can cooperate and uh, aggregated demand uh, for earth observation data to be possible uh, to reduce the cost of the production and to be able uh, to deliver uh, to the farmer services in the cost which will be acceptable for them because for every farmer yes, uh, it's important that uh, its benefit has to be bigger from some services than they uh, what they will pay for the services um, as I already mentioned, uh, we need to support better fire principles uh, for accessing of the data uh, and uh, we need to collect this Provence information about uh, the origin of the data. And there is some 10 recommendations uh, from l for agri and uh, also this uh, my presentation here is partly uh, connected with uh, this recommendation is yes, to organize regular workshops and conferences uh, where different stakeholders will discuss how they can uh, cooperate. Uh, we need to support cooperation of uh, these different players from uh, public and private sector. In the research, we need to combine uh, the multi-actor research because um, uh, very often something is developed by IT expert or earth observation expert but if they are not included to agronomists, they are not included the expert from all area uh, we never can come to the result which will really the help so uh, we need to support um, fire principles and new metadata models uh, we need to look on um, the reusage of uh, previous uh, solution and I think that here is also if we are on the phosphor G uh, very important that uh, in many cases the solution are based on um, open sources and uh, uh, that uh, usage of open sources can also lead to the better of reusage of pre uh, open sol uh, of uh, existing solution and uh, their extension. Uh, Sometimes uh, they are uh, finance very huge uh, project, but uh, uh, to bring something new, uh, new methods probably can come from a smaller project and we need also to have some um, financing and some instruments for supporting smaller projects. Uh, what is uh, very important and uh, one from the key issue is uh, standardization because uh, um, we need to make uh, information standardized but we need also to have more light standards yes many of previous standards is very heavy and it is uh, different uh, um, to 
uh, use this uh, by, uh, for example, non-GI specialists uh, to use the standard. So we need to go much more to light APIs uh, to be possible. Uh, uh, built a new solution where uh, we'll cooperate different experts from different areas and uh, what is uh, important to try uh, to organize some coordination action uh, or uh, from public money or on the base of uh, uh, some organization where people will <coughs> try and put effort together as was mentioned I am part of OGC and we are now uh, trying inside OGC to have a regular meeting and discuss how different organizations uh, can uh, cooperate and um, of course the biggest problem uh, uh, on all levels is legislation and uh, financing in Europe uh, it will require uh, uh, some um, included this into the reform of common agriculture policy but we need also uh, to have uh, the action in the global scale because uh, we need uh, now uh, to help also to the other countries uh, better use this as observation data for both for uh, reducing uh, the, the power and uh, um, uh, making better food production in this country but also to combine this with environmental production here you can see uh, the team of organization which participate on uh, this study and uh, um, all our materials or our report are publicly available or, or on the web pages of Air for Agri project or uh, they are also on um, uh, research gate uh, publicly available so anybody who will be interested about our work uh, in the more details uh, you can go there or contact me and I will share with you our information thank you very much Karel that was a very interesting presentation on the on the thing that we can do for agriculture with our observation uh, we have a little time left for uh, questions uh, and we already have a question in the chat um, asking you how will the farmers receive or access the processed EO data, um, uh, processed data of the EU services uh, using um, a mobile, a tablet app or it will be given in a periodic report. Uh, I, I think that uh, or what we recognize that uh, farmers um, uh, are using uh, computer mobile app but uh, what is important that there is uh, some local uh, service provider who is able to integrate this different data not only data from earth observation but for example from machinery and who is able to deliver this uh, to the farmer as the services and usually farmers like also not only access the services but if you are able to communicate with them you are able to explain them why for example they have to put more or less fertilizer uh, so it is really important to solve this question of this uh, last mile uh, because uh, there is many ideas that we will build some uh, marketplace for application from the farmers but uh, usually this is not uh, work as farmers are working uh, they need to have some trust and they like to have a local or regional organization which are helping them uh, which are making for them uh, services uh, and uh, this is, I think, the way how we can uh, access uh, the farmers. Yes, for example, idea that farmers will go directly on DIAS platform. I, I know such farmers, yes, but uh, uh, I think that in Czech Republic 5, 6, uh, it is all, yes. Uh, so there is necessary that there is anybody who is uh, doing these uh, services for them and working with them, but um, also it is much better if it is some service organization where farmers are used to work with them if you will go as as observation expert or as IT person to the farmers they will be not trusted they need uh, to speak with anybody who has uh, agriculture knowledge exactly uh, we have another question for you um, aside from payment for earth observation information what is the next uh, biggest barrier to earth observation information uh, for farmers? 
Oh, um, uh, one, uh, one barrier is that this optical uh, satellite are not um, uh, very often available during the season. as yes, because uh, Sentinel-2 or thematic mapper, for example, uh, this season uh, in the Czech Republic, we had only few images which we are able to use and uh, farmers need to have information in the time. and. On the other side, uh, for example, our group is trying to work with Sentinel-1, uh, but till now the work with Sentinel-1 is not so advanced and not so often, uh, but uh, this is the way um, what can be used. Uh, other topic is that uh, uh, I mentioned uh, that uh, this uh, scale of the farm, usually uh, Landsat data or uh, Sentinel uh, data are good for the fields bigger than 5 hectares. If you have small uh, fields, there is again a limitation. Of course, we have um, Maxar, we have um, uh, Planet and other data provider, uh, but uh, there to be possible to deliver services in uh, the cost which will be um, accepted table for farmers, there is necessary uh, to provide aggregation of this information and uh, aggregation of the demand for this information and uh, to be able to cover uh, the cost from uh, more sources. Yes, it could be not only from the farmers, but I mentioned from uh, the food producer or other. So there is necessary to build new models of this public-private partnership uh, to combining different requests and uh, uh, to, try to reuse one data uh, for more purposes. All right. Thank you very much for, for all the context. Um, we can take another question if you have it. Uh, we will uh, go over a bit until our next um, presenter might connect. Uh, so if you have another question for Karel, uh, please um, use this opportunity to, to ask it now. If not, we included uh, Karel's um, contact here. Um, if uh, he allows us, we uh, we can direct users to uh, directly ask other questions about your work. Um, yes, of course, uh, I am ready to speak. And uh, uh, if uh, there is interest uh, to publish my presentation, I can send this uh, presentation and uh, uh, I am trying to have all my work um, open uh, publicly available, so I don't know if um, uh, Phosphor-G will publish uh, the presentation or um, uh, how it uh, has to be. Uh, I can send my presentation and also if there is video recording, I agree to publish this. Uh, thank you, Karel. Um, for everybody that's listening to us, uh, all the presentations will be uh, shared uh, in a streamed format so far. I'm not sure um, exactly what um, the policy is for um, the presentation in another format, but all these streamings are recorded and will be released in a, in a few uh, weeks from now uh, when everything is going to be edited and uh, put together in a in a very uh, streamlined way. So uh, thank you very much, Karel. It seems that we don't have any other questions in the chat, uh, but uh, thank you for joining us and presenting. Thank and you for the opportunity to...